alleges inflows of mercenaries into Nigeria. Indigenous people of Biafra hype up on Monday raised the alarm over what is called current high level of inflows of mercenaries from the terror ravaged Sahel region into Nigeria. Noting that since the civil war, nobody has witnessed the current high level of inflows mercenaries into Nigeria. It warned that any ethnic group that failed to condemn and join hand with IPOP to check such inflows will soon be consumed by them. IPOP, in a statement by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, alleged that the government of Nigeria has perfected their plans and have embarked on a well funded misinformation program. Why jihadists hiding as soldiers try to accomplish the goal they started in 1804. Those of us witnessing the alarming trade of disproportionate inflows of killers through the porous borders of the north find it shocking that the non that non fulani ethnic groups across Nigeria have as usual chosen to remain silent. It is important inhabitant inhabitants of Nigeria and Biafrans alike are alive to their responsibilities to defend their population against this devilish plan. Not since the civil war has anyone witnessed the current high level of inflows of mercenaries from the terror-ravaged Sahel region into Nigeria. They resigned to suffer the impending carnage, loss of their land and alteration of their way of life rather than join ongoing efforts by IPOP to dislodge and drive these foot soldiers and terrorists back to the Sahel from whence they came. While other ethnic nationalities in Nigeria have, through a combination of morbid, morbid fear of war, mongering and cowardice, been bamboozed into accepting the perverse narrative and their terrorists flooding in, in from the north are mere settlers. We, the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, I hope, aptly led by our great leader, Mazen Namde Kano, cannot be deceived. We are raising the alarm once again about this impending bloodbath and this desperation to forcibly take over the land of indigenous ethnic groups in Nigeria. The total conquest and domination of the geopolitical space in Nigeria has entered into a critical and irreversible phase. This is the sole reason why they are busy occupying the east-west, east with their endless military exercises and tens of hundreds of roadblocks in the futile attempt of seeking to contain IPO. There is no security challenge in the east, but there are more armed soldiers, heavy weaponry, and checkpoints in Biafra land and in the north, where terrorism, banditry, kidnapping is the order of the day. So guys, uh, this is really uh, a serious matter. It's a serious issue. Those who are still saying na lie, na lie, na lie. <laughs> things are going, things are going the other way. Things are in disarray, and people are still saying na lie, na lie. See what happened today. See what happened today. We say the jihad. You see what happened. Those who were on peaceful protest, and some people just came. The video is all over the place. You can imagine. What really happened today? And this uh, alarm that this uh, IPOP is raising is really cause for serious concern. Just like some people don't even take it serious. They don't just take it serious at all. A lot of things are happening in the north. And this issue of a free visa, free visa policy or visa on arrival policy, it's cause for alarm. A lot of people just think, oh, maybe because they are in the west, you know, people coming in from that area are not really, you know, people just be wondering, is it, are they going to be bringing cows from all those areas? It goes beyond that. Go and see what is happening in the north. These people are not just saying anything for, for saying sake. They know what they are talking about. They know what they are talking about. I, I hope and I pray that all of these things will not consume everybody. If it were to be, a, a, you know, to, if it were to be easy, I would have just even advise IPO not just to say anything. But at the end of the day, if they don't talk, it's going to consume everybody. I think I already said every uh, talk, every talk here and there is even helping in a way, so that there will know people are aware of what is happening. If you just say, okay, I don't want to say anything because you have been telling people for a very long time, and people don't seem to understand, they don't seem to want to listen to what is happening. Some people just believe that no, 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 forget about them, forget it. No, they are just trying to cause confusion. They are just trying to do this. All these people who you call your leaders. 
you know, from various regions, they are not, they, they are conspiring with this evil that is going on. And that is just the way it is. If you are still in that school of thought that nothing is happening, nothing they happen, nothing they happen, I just see a lot of people don't even know what is happening. Even the few ones that even hear all of this information, you know, beforehand, they wave it off. They will say, let, let, let them go and sit down. I think with what I Pop is saying, let everybody be objective, let's be open-minded and know what is happening. And a lot of people are trying to get what is happening because with all the policies, with all the things happening, they came out first with Ruga, with Colony, it didn't work. Came up with a uh, Ruga, it didn't work. Came up with a uh, National Livestock, it didn't work. The next thing, they, they introduced uh, this uh, visa, uh, free visa on, uh, on arrival. You can imagine. And somebody was even saying, from even from all this uh, Calabar area, all this uh, uh, Calabar and uh, Cross River, a lot of these people are coming in. They are coming in. Go and do your investigation. Go and do your findings. So they are not just making up anything. They are not just making up things at all. And we are seeing them. See all over the place. See Lagos. See how they, they've, they, they've entered Lagos in their numbers. And some people will be telling you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And the so-called leaders are not even ready. See, most of them that call themselves leader now, they don't even know the direction to go. Those who support what we are experiencing now, they don't even know because they themselves, they are disappointed. They are really disappointed from their own corner. So if those ones that call themselves leader are disappointed or they are confused, not even decide, they are confused, let's put it that way, then what, what is now the face of the their followers, those people who just follow them blindly. A lot of people don't know what is going on. They don't know what is going on. One thing I just believe, even if people cannot pinpoint it, but there's something going on, there's an ulterior motive concerning all of these things that these people are doing. Everybody must be careful. Everybody must be open-minded and just know what is happening. Don't just say, may they go sit down, now lie, now lie. Everything are fake news. Okay, which one is the real news? Which one? Since this one is fake news, okay, give us the real news. Very, very unfortunate. Chosen people, Almighty God is with you people. Hmm, someone say propaganda, confused people. Continue. Someone say just wait until you start getting, oh my goodness, until it starts hitting you. And like a uh, Christmas goes, Nigerians are doubting Thomases until they are taught of God or they are caught of God. Someone say Chuku Kika Bame. We shield and protect us from this evil plot of Islamic agenda. They must gather, but since they are not from God, they must surely scatter. Our God is a law giver, a judge, and our king. He will care and save us in Jesus' name. Please be afraid. Go and leave Nigeria alone. I am very tired. I'm tired. I'm very tired of this uh, Biafran things. Go away, Joe. Okay. Only when the ships are down, uh, they will understand. Of course. Hmm. Someone say, God of Elijah will overcome the invaders in the mighty name of Yeshua. This is a serious issue. Everybody must take notes. Everybody must take notes. This one will be a lie, a lie. Somebody say, hmm, until it hits you before you know uh, uh uh the cocoa you know the the the, the real thing the line and like lots of people are really doubting thomas's and someone say they should go and sit down that they are tired of all of this is with all these things that are happening some people don't, don't still get it the people who don't still get it <clears throat> i hope uh, it will not be too late too. i hope it will not be too late because the way things are going people are just doing their own thing some people that were injured today at the protest uh, 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 ground, they will say, oh, it's housing rights. What are they looking for? When people are carrying placard, they are saying national uh, security or national whatever, it can it, it supersede a uh, uh, human rights. And that means people are coming out to support disobedience to court order. People are coming out boldly. I saw the placard today. One of those videos, the video is going viral. All those say, I don't know where they, all those young, young boys that came, they were carrying placards and they are beating up people, saying the national security is a, it overrides any form of a human rights. They are supporting disobedience to court order. Then why are we having the courts in the first place? Why are we having the courts? So, guys, uh, let's hear your own take concerning all of this. Leave your comments respectfully. Thank you very much. Bye.